Sam, we're going to Pony Pride here with senior safety, Jay Scott. First thing, Jay, you're a senior now going into your last fall camp. Just kind of talk about what that's like. It feels good, man. It, it hasn't really hit me that this is my last go around, but it feels good. Um, it's kind of repetitive, you know, because I've been doing this for so long, but it's always good to help the young guys out and just know what I'm doing at all times. I mean, you've been on the field a lot. You started every game last year. At this point in the game, I mean, what are you working on this fall? I mean, is there anything that you still are trying to tweak about your game? Oh, yeah, every day. It's just being comfortable, knowing my leverage, and uh, getting to my technique faster than my opponent every day. You know, can you talk a little bit, I mean, as someone who's been on campus a while now, how the look and the depth of the defensive backs has changed from when you first got here to how it is today? Well, oh. yeah, we got to... Uh, yeah, they... We got a lot of we got a lot of more depth now. Uh, we got corners coming in, a lot of safeties, and the young guys are getting it early. So, like D. Rich, he uh, he told me he went to like four different schools, so he understands the defense where we're going, what we have going on. We got a lot of more teaching. People understand what we're doing, so we can tell the younger guys, and they get it. They're getting it faster. You mentioned Darian Richardson, but are any of those other young guys impressing you so far? Oh yeah, Crosby, Castle, all of them. AJ Justice, all of them. They just they just want to compete out here, and that's what that's what the DB, the DBs are going for. No, I was talking to Kenneth Acker, and he was telling me that there's you know four or five guys who feel like they should be starters on this uh, defensive back. I mean, is that true? I mean, does that kind of show in practice? Yeah, everybody wants to play, and we we are. All here to make plays. We're here to compete and we're here to show that everybody wants to be on the field. So this is what we have to do in practice to, for everybody to get on the field. You know, so far this uh, fall, you've been working next to Hayden Greenbauer along with Shaquille Randolph at times. What have you seen out of those two? Because I know they're kind of battling for that spot next to you. Oh, yeah, both of them, they, they're out here trying to compete. They're trying to make plays. Um, Greenbauer, he, he gets it. He came, he came on late, got a little interception in the last game. Uh, it's, it's all about communication when it's when it's the two safeties or the DBs as a, as a whole. It's all about communication, us knowing where we're going to be. Uh, if you're in your third, be in your lane, or you know, knowing what routes can come out of what sets and just communicating, that's key. Um, you know, you mentioned that. I was about to ask, like, no safeties. They have to communicate. You have to have a good relationship with the guy next to you. Is there one of them that you feel more comfortable with back there at this point? Not necessarily. It's just, like I said, all about all about communication. If y'all are on the same page, then you're going to be able to execute. How good can this defense be? Very good. We're here to we're here to stop. We're here to make plays, turn the ball over, get the ball, give it to our offense. We're going to be as good as we make it. So we just got to go full speed every play, do our job, and have fun out there. Um, I know you've been doing some 7-on-7s seven and 11-on-11s 11 in practice, going against the receivers. In that scenario, has any of the receivers kind of stuck out to you as kind of tough to uh, cover or anything like that? Uh, yeah, they're, they're doing a good job. I like to – me and Tote go at it. Uh, Keenan, uh, we, we get a little jawing. We get a little one-on-ones in the summer and out here. It's just all fun, but at the end of the day, we don't want them to catch on us, and I'm sure they want to catch on us. So it's just, it's just having fun out here. You know, you mentioned that John a little bit. It seems like the defense is the more vocal of the two. Yeah, we got – you know Acker is going to talk. He's going to talk to the receivers. He's going to talk to the quarterbacks, even if they're not in the game. So it's good to have that on our team. It's, it's fun, but he always knows his assignment. So. You know, I've been talking to a lot of the defensive guys, and it seems like y'all have like a certain attitude or a swag or a chip on your shoulder this fall. I mean, do you feel that too, and do you sense that? Yeah, for sure, because people, people like uh, at the when, when they went to the AAC thing, they said nobody was talking to them and things like that. People are trying to downgrade us, but we we're gonna let them know that we're here to play and uh, we're here to do our job. So y'all feel disrespected? Uh, a little bit sometimes. Yeah, I know. I know they weren't getting interviews at the AAC thing, but I mean, we're just, we're, I, I really don't worry about that type of stuff. I just, we just need to get the defense together, come together and play our game and we'll be fine. You know, have you started at all looking at tech already or is it still just getting ready for the season? Oh yeah, we'll, we'll check them out. We've been checking them out, um, doing that, looking at their spring game, seeing what they're doing. We're going we're gonna to really get into it soon here and uh, break them down. All right, perfect. Thank you, Jay.